after finishing my national service at Tobiko, so I have to migrate to Kumasi. When I came here first, I thought life has ended. But due to my initial bag and the way I've been working, forcing myself, I have to start something. So I came to Mahazi here. I saw one man. He said, No, he's buying condemned battery. If I can join him, fine. He will help me. So I was having some amount of three thousand Ghana That was uh, what you see from. Your national service? Yes, it was what I saved. But when I was in school, I saved about 2002 for my national service because I used to have game working for me. So I never touched my money. So when I came here, I wanted to start something with it. So when I saw that my soul, he can help me. So I joined him. And he, he started on the first day. He was shouting, condemn condemn So I was shy. I said, hey, how can somebody graduate like me start shouting condemn battery, buying condemn battery? So he said, oh, why are you not uh, shouting? Because you'll be doing this for a while. So and you, I saw, you guys were moving from one place to the other? We were roaming okay. all over Mazi, okay. shouting condemn battery. So when we get, he teaches me this 17 place, this 13, this 15. We buy this place. The following morning, I woke up and I call him. So, go and join, go and start a, a start business because I will be visiting my children. Okay. And that time, I, I, I never know where my the path, the ways I will pass. I don't know the location itself, but I said, no, I should start. So I started roaming and shouting condemn battle. That day, I get about two. That was your first day? My first day. I, I was even surprised to know my, my route or way back to my house. Well, I can go somewhere and I don't know where I'm, I'm standing now. So I'll call my boss. Tak, I think I'm missing you. <laughs> you are lost I'm in lost. magazine. Hey, Mazi. So, oh, give the phone to someone. And let me talk to him. And I'll give the phone, and the person will teach me, come to New World Junction. So, I was doing for some time, so I get to know the areas, the locations, so whenever I see someone, maybe killing battery, I'll ask him, are you selling? Is this spoil? Is this spoil? So no. Someone will tell you, fine, they're spoils. How will you buy? I will say, well, um, I, I buy it at this price. So I've been doing it for about five years now. Five years now. Five years now. So you, you started with an initial... So what, what actually did you use the 3,000 Ghana cities that you had? What did you use it for? Like, they show me the place where they sell. So every day, if I get about five pieces, I would just put it inside for transportation and sell. So I get to sit down. This is where I brought in my education. So uh, every day I've been roaming about, why don't I consult the battery doctors? There are people who, who repairs batteries in Mazi here. I shouldn't I consult them and add the price we used to buy. Maybe at first it was uh, 20 CD for 17. So I added um, one CD, so making 21. So I started giving my numbers out. So they started to call me. So within some time, I had about 10 customers. So I started to, I, I, I stopped roaming about and said, no, I should have a vehicle. So that any point in time they will call me, 
they will have access to me immediately they, they need me. So I started that one and I came to my brother here, the shop. So after buying that time, the three, 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 Trend, um, 3,000 CD I had, I invested all into the business, so if I get at the initial stage, I used to send maybe 10 or 5 pieces, so I stopped that, so I would buy in bulk and sell it to different men, so my, my commission started growing. So, this is how things started. But now I, I have about 50 customers, and every each brother's day, I can buy about 50 pieces. Okay. And I've been making profit from it. So, uh, if you buy 50 pieces a day, how much profit do you get from that? You can get about 100 guys. 100 guys this a day? A day. Yeah. Because we used to wait. So it depends on the weight. You can buy some goods for a week. You will see that you so can that would gain mean more. So in a month you get close to 3,000? Oh, after weighing for a month, Sometimes grad could be 2,000, 3,000, it depends, it varies. Sometimes 4,000. Because some company used to uh, come and then they call me, I go to their companies and buy in bulk. So you can buy about 200 pieces, 300 pieces. For them, you can gain more. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. When you graduated from the senior polytechnic, when what were your plans before? Did you plan to end up here? No, no, I never planned. That. But due to the accident that I had, but when I but when I was in Kumasi, I wanted to be a farmer. I even bought a land to rear my own animals to start where the accident came. I have to migrate to here. So my initial plans were to be a farmer, like entrepreneurs we learn from school. But due to the accident, I have to change the whole of my thinking centers. So I started doing, I saw that as an entrepreneur, you can start from any angle, not being an agriculturalist or something, you can start from anywhere. But for now, I, I feel well in this business. I don't have any plans to move. I want even to extend it. I want to have my own shop where I will be buying from the dealers like me and send it to Accra for maybe less or two years time. Would you say that your life has been better? My life has been better. Because if I hear of some people maybe earning thousand or thousand five a month. I laugh. And I say, ah. We have been pumping education. I know education is the key and the backbone of every successful nation. But being in business, business that people don't respect. respect. And I'm earning this. I feel proud of myself, and I have invested. So when you meet our colleagues that we finish school with, I mean we graduated school with, when you meet them in a state like this, how do you feel? What do you tell them? I feel bad, and I always um, advise them to start something. They shouldn't uh, depend on the government and you know, the, the white color job. They should start something on their own. Because with the whole of uh, education that you have acquired, and you can't start something, meaning the education is not because um, knowledge and wisdom, they are two different things. After acquiring the knowledge, you have to put into practice where you say you are a wise person. Yeah. So after acquiring the knowledge in this school, you can't 
apply it. Apply it? Then what is the essence of being in the school? You see? So I always advise them they should say, even la last time Elegi called me, I, want, I was telling no. She starts something saying you are dealing with mobile for, um, um, mobile money. Okay. You should start it. So, uh, so I, I used to advise them. So what are your plans for the next five years? Like I said, for my one, two years plan, I want to extend the business. Like be like agents where they buy from us. So I'll be buying from my colleagues and send it to Accra. I for let's say four or five years I will engage myself in agriculture. This is my plan. Because so from my initial plan I started, I want to engage him for for two one, two years. And after that I will What be, are some of the challenges you face here? Oh the challenges at first it was my shop. At first, it was my shop. They used to steal us here. But now, it has minimized. And secondly, uh, my customers, they like, oh, give me loan, give me loan. <laughs> you give them and they will never pay. But some will pay, some will not pay. And they should give you, you should give them the items on loan. Oh, you saw my child is say, give me, follow me. Because it's your, your business partner, custom, you have to give me. And you will never pay. And nowadays, because of that mobile phone, yo, oh, Kofi, the person is here. Give me, uh, send me mobile phone, I, uh, mobile money, so that you come for it. Immediately you send the money. After that, you go and the battery is not there. You see, these are the, some of the challenges I've been facing. And and with. When it decreases and I have goods there, normally the prices decreases. And when the, the data rises, we see some increment. These are the major problems I have been facing. So what, what do you have to tell all the graduates out there who are waiting for the government to provide them with jobs or they are waiting for any white color job? in the country. Uh, I tell them they have to apply what they learn in school. They should be entrepreneur of their own. Start something. Because if you don't start something, even they give you the color job, you are going to to collapse the, the, the job. Because you don't have what it takes to manage your own life or manage the, the, the job itself. So they should start something. Start something that it is your own potential. You are, you are not going to depend on some, uh, somebody for it. You see that this is my talent. This is what I can start with. This is what I can manage. You should start that thing. And if you are truly working seriously, you have God will bless it. So we shouldn't sit there and let our parents' money that they send us to school and what would be wasted. They should start something.